Hello everyone, Intuitive Edge here. So, um, today I would like to take a look at what's happening down in Venezuela. I'd like to check in with the tarot cards and see, we're going to look at the kind of what's going on down there, what's taking shape um, with their leader being deposed, it looks like. So, um, I lit a purple candle because I felt like the color purple was somehow important or significant. So that's the closest I had to purple. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to shuffle up the cards and then um, I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, we'll get started. So I shuffled up the cards. Let's cut the deck. So, all right. So we're going to look at the past. Um... I'll go this way. So we're going to start off with the, okay, so nine of fire. In the position of the past, this is a meeting of the minds. Um, this is a like a plot that went wrong or some type of planning that's not turning out the way um, they thought it would go. Um, so um, I think with, with the current government, things are not going as planned. Okay. Um, now on this card this is the present this is uh so this is now i think this has to do with the new guy who's trying to take power um and this is like a partnership where two people are opposed um i don't think there's a meeting uh, like if it was upright it would be like people coming together and you know joining together this is like this is a coming together, but it's not in agreement. So I think that's obviously what's going on with the new guy coming in. Um, we have with the behind the scenes, we've got... Oh. You know, when you have the demon cat, this is the devil card in the traditional tarot. This card, you see when it's reversed. See, okay, so upright... The devil card is all about, it's like being in, in bondage, especially materialistic or material minded, um, focusing just on, you know, basic survival and instinct. When it's reversed, this is like getting yourself out from under oppression or freed from bondage. And this is what's, this is in the position of what's behind the scenes. So I think what we don't see, this is like kind of like what we don't see in the news, what we're not seeing, is that this is this is people being freed from oppression and bondage. Um, now, with it being the devil card, it's a, it can be a very messy process, and it can be a very difficult process. But I see this actually as a positive card when it's reversed. Um, coming into view, so I think this is tied directly to this coming out of oppression. This is getting ready to make a leap, like getting ready to to make a move and come out of something. It's a little bit like like kind of in the waiting or in the wings. Um, I think we may start to see some real movement. Come, I, I'm thinking like March, April, um, into the spring, maybe into May, March, April, May. We may really start to see some some significant movement out of this oppressive socialist regi regime. Um, I think people are are going to start coming out of that mindset, out of that. Um, we I was like a, like this exodus feeling, like we're getting out, we're getting out. This is the lesson. We have the Earth Kitten. Um, now, okay, interesting. This is about kind of get, learning who you're trusting, um, being careful with who you trust, and learning to accept other people's difference x learning to work with your differences accept others um but not be too trusting so 
this is the lesson there is to not be too trusting or be careful who you trust. Outcome. So, um, and back to this for a second. I'm wondering if that too is, you know, the new guy um, coming in, you know, he may have some issues too. Um, the, the fundamental fundamental issue probably something I don't really want to get into on this video but I may in the future but it's that whole issue of of socialism I mean it 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 has a tendency to devolve um and the primary reason for that in my opinion is that socialism is built on the premise of jealousy and envy and I know many people wouldn't don't see it that way but when you when you build something on a character fault like jealousy or envy um, you're building something on something that is not a good foundation you know the foundations of of love of gratitude of kindness those are things that that are positive and when you have those traits and you build on that then you have something to work with you have something that will sustain you and that is positive um but building on envy and jealousy and wanting to distribute other people's wealth to everyone else that is actually a negative mindset and anything built on that is bound to fail and it's not going to last um, I'd love to see us, I'm just going to take a sidebar here. I'd love to see us get out of this mindset, especially, especially the millennial generation who they say are, you know, really gung ho for socialism. Um, I would love to see them turn, really take a look at socialism, take uh, for what it is, the truth of it. Not, not this, not this utopia that, that it, per, it pretends to be because it's very, very damaging and the the underlying cause is this jealousy and envy that is underneath the push to make everyone equal um you know so and so shouldn't be a millionaire or a billionaire that's not that's not fair well what's underneath that jealousy and envy do you see when you build on that you're going to create a system that is out of whack it's not in harmony with the balance of natural law and i know i'm not explaining that really well i just hope some of you can understand what i'm trying to say um because i <laughs> i'm not a, like a gifted orator but i try okay um I, i've i've been studying natural law for several years now and we have to get to back to the mindset of working with creation and with the momentum of how the universe works and stay away from ideologies that encourage envy, that encourage um, people to be vicious of others. And we have to do that by being self-reflective. Um, so back to Venezuela, sorry to diverge there, but it's important. This, this whole topic actually is really important to me to talk about. Um, but back to Venezuela, um, we have the upside down tower card on the outcome. This is going to be a very challenging year for them, I think, in 2019. Um, I do think that things are not going as planned for the government. But the new guy coming in, you have to be careful with him too. He may be all right. He's probably better than the last guy. But I think think the lesson is going to be, you know, we, we need to look to ourselves to create the world that we want. And this goes for anybody, really. And not just hope and trust, blind faith and trust in our leaders that we elect that they're somehow going to do the job for us it's up to all of us we can't we can't live apart from our universe that we create and expect somebody else to manage it for us 
You know, it's just we have to take some measure of responsibility. Everyone does. And I think that may be the lesson here. But when you have the tower card and the outcome, boy, it's going to be tough. I think they have a hard road ahead. It could get worse before it gets better down there. I think there's going to be some rioting. I think there's going to be some real um, fundamental changes. But if they can, if they can hold fast to the principles that guide humanity forward instead of cause suspicion and jealousy and envy and move into a place of allowing people the freedom to be who they are, to develop and create and be the, the wonderful people that, that they are and that they can be, um, that is, that's where you can have a foundation to build society on something better so um, I, I hope to talk more about um, socialism um, in future videos, but it is a very dangerous ideology. And I, I, I'm hoping that I made the point about it um, being linked to, um, to jealousy and envy because that, that I think is the root cause of the problems with it. Um, and I'm, I'm all about root causes, finding out what what the issues are that cause things so that you can actually fix it from the source and not just put a band-aid on it and keep having the same problem fester over and over again. So that's my heart and my passion. Okay. Appreciate it. I hope this recorded. I love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.